Hello everyone, this is Finn Goddard and welcome. Um, I am the founder and the um, creator um, of Core Expansion, which is a really powerful, um, effective and um, light speed um, modality that transforms limiting energies and negative belief systems from um, the very core of you and through all lifetimes past present and future hey martha so lovely to see you here um today i'm really excited but also a little bit sad because it is the the final day of four days of aligning with you and i'm truly grateful for all of you for coming along today and um for joining um for joining the series. Um, I will be putting um, an email out later. Um, Facebook, when it comes to downloading the video, it takes um, a lot longer than um, you would kind of usually expect. So um, if you would like to um, receive the, the replay on an email, um, please let me know because I will be taking it down from um, Facebook over the next couple of days and if you sign up you can sign up to um you can sign up to receive your free, free gift of the five core energies which are really powerful and amazing to listen to and enjoy forever and i will be sending the email out with the links so that's a little bit of housekeeping excuse me I'm grabbing um some water so today um forgiveness and harmony and forgiveness is a really really powerful energy and forgiveness transforms all anger all resentment it brings together that wonderful energy of um discernment and harmony and love and it can completely transform um the 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 situation and, and where you are. And there has been um, research done into um, forgiveness. Hey, Robin, so lovely to see you here. And there has been research done when um, when you forgive, um, you can heal faster. And if you have health problems, some health problems um, are related to, um, you know, to how you, uh, you how you process and how you move through your um your illness and um forgiveness is a, a very liberating it's very freeing hey martha so lovely to see you here today and when you have um discernment when you have uh, forgiveness um, when you have love and and then harmony it really really brings in morning nonny hey morning uh, robin it brings everything into this wonderful space and you um, can deal with the situations and um, the challenges that come up in your life as, as a friend. And um, I have learned over the years um, to greet every situation as a, as a friend. And if somebody is being um, reactionary towards you, I um, have found that when I am in a space of forgiveness and love that that completely changes the situation so hey so you are all here and i know that many of you um have loved the idea yes absolutely uh thank you for saying that robin um you have um you have reminded me <laughs> of what i was planning on saying and i kind of forgot um Yes, having harmony as opposed to balance, because if you are forever, I have I have a really dear friend who's always talking about juggling, like they're juggling and they're in this juggle and they're juggling this, they're juggling that, juggling the other thing. And it's exhausting. Imagine you're balancing constantly. You're in the energy and you're like having to balance this, that and the other. It is, it's enough. It's like too much. And I used to be somebody who would juggle all these multiple plates all at once and running around with my multiple plates um, juggling around behind me and it kind of gets a bit chaotic. So when you um, align with the energy of harmony and you seek harmony and you connect with harmony as opposed to balance, it really, really transforms the energy and how you um, and how you approach and how you deal with things. Hey, Bogusha, so lovely to see you. Hey, June, lovely to see you again, Roseanne. Oh, thank you for joining me. So I would love to ask you before I dive in and um, do the healing, because this is all about you. And without you here being on this live, it, it's not the same. So I loved how um, over the last um, three days, people have come up with, you know, 
their um, feelings and what they would like to um, what they would like to transform and what's been coming up for them. Hey, Viomas, so lovely to see you. Um, if you um, have anything around um, forgiveness or harmony or feeling like um, a, a resistance to forgiveness or resistance to harmony, um, please um, make it uh, just write in the comments. Um, it's not quite like having on Zoom where you can put in your private chat, but um, know that this live will be coming down and only the video will be available so no one will see your um, comments um, afterwards. So feel confident and feel safe. This is a really sacred space and um, it's a real honor to be with you all. So if you can let me know what areas of your life you feel would benefit from greater harmony and um, forgiveness. Forgiveness is sticky. Okay. Can you elaborate on what you mean by sticky? Do you mean that um, it's not comfortable, like sticky? Oh, forgiving yourself for not meeting your own expectations. Okay. So, and t okay, Martha. Okay, thank you, Robin. Uh, forgiving yourself for not meeting your own expectations. I'd like to support with a release of deep resentment towards family unit from childhood, mother, father, two brothers, and myself. Okay. All right. I can, um, we can work on supporting that. Um, okay oh you mean forgiveness if you do you mean um I, i'm feeling it's important for you to to elaborate on this um roseanne in terms of the stickiness like the forgiveness it doesn't quite um it doesn't quite happen the when you forgive it doesn't stick in the sense that it doesn't have an impact on the outcome of um your situation oh uh, okay so it's like this you're needing to do it a lot and it's not actually um it's not actually having an impact okay i i see okay need help figuring out your life purpose okay wonderful i'm loving all these um comments martha thank you very much for that um forgiveness jane for not being perfect and making mistakes and getting everything done filling in harmony with all elements of yourself and self-love that's wonderful because you know what, can I just, can I say we are human and when we make mistakes, we learn so much from the mistake that we've made. I am human. I make lots of mistakes. I am not perfect at all, um, nor would I um, really wish to be because perfection is, um, it, it, it's it's a utopian ideal it's not it's not real and it's about uh, um, embodying and accepting us being perfect in our imperfections um okay nonny yes hey kate lovely to see you here Viema, people you tried to protect and took one up for the team for and they misunderstand instead yes that happens a lot um, and Avioma, thank you for raising that point. It is really important to understand that everyone is on their own journey and um, what can happen when you are um, protecting somebody else. You're protecting them because of what you perceive they need protecting from. And I do know that this is a really deep and a really, really big subject. And that we, you know, each of us are here to live our own experience and to learn through our own experiences. And when we're ready to um, relinquish that need um, to learn, when we're ready to relinquish that lesson, um, we, um, we can fly beyond it. And it's another, and it's really important that we are wholly and completely accountable only for ourselves and for our own actions. And yes, there are actions that we can take for in terms of prevention, like prevention of cruelty, prevention of harm towards another. Yes, absolutely. However, when we intervene to support and um, sometimes that's misinterpreted that we're coming in and that we're taking over because that person doesn't see what we see and what we feel. And um, and that's a really big and it's that's a big, big, big um, and it can be quite challenging 
to allow that person the the space and to detach from that person and detach from the outcomes and going back to um you know expectations i have um been learning and i'm almost there with learning about being detached from the outcome being detached from the expectations of me and it's the same thing when it comes to protecting somebody else it's important to be detached from that person because you are not them you are not living their experience and it is um I have learned only help somebody when they ask for it. If you feel that they need help and you say, is there an, you know, ask them, is there anything I can support or help you with? That will open up the door. Um, and if they say no, you have to honor and respect that at that moment in time, but it doesn't stop you from helping them in other ways. And one of the greatest ways we can help people is by helping ourselves and also by sending um, unconditional love um, to that person and to, um, and to this situation and that can completely transform the energy it may not wholly transform the situation because that person is related and they're connected with that situation i hope that makes sense okay All right let me have a look okay self-sabotaging yes that's a huge one for lots of people vioma always value your intellect and did a lot of self-sabotage when it resulted resulted in brain fog um, bipolarish symptoms okay yeah I think a lot of people are filling um, in that brain fog and if you are experiencing um, bipolar if you have been diagnosed with bipolar it's important to connect with your um, you know your medical um, physician your doctor and um, work through that and you know we we are truly fascinating and I have, as many of you are aware, I've had like mega brain fog for the, like the last um, two or three weeks um, and um, I have managed to, with practice every day <laughs> and it's it's been, it's taken me longer to do everything, like four times as long to do everything, but I have um I have given myself time and space to reflect, but also I've gone in when I'm in that, um, I sort of generate the energy. Okay, right, let's do this and let's get excited. Okay, you started learning to accept others' choices. Yes. Choosing and creating greater for themselves. Yes, you're very welcome. And you know what? Um, I feel that what I said the other day is um, we, um, the greatest aspect of us as human beings is that the greater and the better we become. And um, we are each responsible for our own selves and our own lives. Let me go back. Um, forgiveness of self and family, that is really big for everybody. Filling in harmony with the elements for self. And the most important person you can forgive, first of all, is you. And um, working on forgiving yourself, that will um, support you in having a different dynamic and a different perspective with the situation around family and I know that family is quite um you know we choose our family when we come into this lifetime even though we don't think it at the time um our family teach us many 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 great gifts and by working through the the forgiveness of yourself and the forgiveness of family members you forgiving them it will change how you are reacting and respond rather than reacting how you are responding to the situation okay martha help figuring out your life purpose well i will be announcing something um towards the end of this um wonderful call about helping people to um really connect in and um expand and explore your life purpose because we all have multiple life purposes and um, I have for many um, years thought my life purpose was working in complex zones and helping people to um, nurture and, and foster peace and build communities. And I realized that wasn't actually my purpose at all. <laughs> my purpose is core expansion and bringing that uh, lovely energy of creating and um, a space for communities to come together in a very peaceful and harmonious way in my, in my own work and and having that at home other than having to fly off to other parts of the world um to do that and know that you are always in the right place at the right time okay 
let me see so i'm just looking to make sure that i have everybody's comments here hey fran so lovely to see you okay so we have harmony all the angst yes all the angst is hard to carry and the need to release it all when you harmony yourself yes and angst is um something that we knowingly and unknowingly um we kind of we take on board and i have done that and i wanted to say um before i go on with the healing and because it's relevant today i have had a lot of um i've been going through like a lot of um transformation and lots of um clearing and realigning and fine tuning and um i have been going through um a, a f some like really weird feelings like you know not feeling my my best not feeling you know having a really deep cold um feeling a little bit useless and um because it was taking me so long to create things that are like really really important <laughs> and i'm like hey what's going on so i had um a real i've had so many incredible breakthroughs over the last um few days and few weeks and actually over the last year um and when we are in that energy of feeling useless like you know i'm doing this and it's not working and and building up lots and lots of um you know pressure and expectations around um our uh, self-worth and and how we should show up and how we should be and in fact you show up and you be for you because you are a divine and amazing being and taking off the masks so that you can be yourself and be completely authentic and it's okay to feel um pissed off it's okay to say that you know you're, you're upset and you're angry and it's about not hiding away from your truth and not hiding away from your feelings so what I would like to do is um, if anyone is feeling that they have been in this kind of um, old cycle, that's kind of like, yeah, I suppose it's like um, trying to do, find the right analogy for it. So imagine you have um, a, a screw that's supporting um, an object to be held on the wall, like a, a frame and the screw over time um, fades because it's been, it's, it's, worn and worn and worn away because it goes through this energy time and time again um, and that energy then becomes useless and um, sometimes when we are working through the energy of harmonizing and forgiving we can sometimes feel subconsciously and um, in our hearts that oh god is this really worth my while is this actually going to work um, is this going to happen and there is that energy of uselessness that kind of like radiates off of those energies so what i'm going to do for you all if with your permission of course and you don't have to receive this healing right now. Um, I will be, um, you know, you can, when you listen to this again, you can allow the healing to come through. And please know that this healing is very gentle. It's very powerful. And I will also support you with, um, you know, grounding. Okay, not listening to your body so far and having boundaries. It's really, really important to um, find um, what works for you that will help you and support you to listen to your body. And maybe every day, listen to what your body is saying when you first wake up, um, Veoma, and um, ask your body, what is it that it needs? And um, listen and allow yourself to um, embrace what your body needs. And it, and the more you do this, the, it, the more natural it will be, and it will become a daily practice. And um, you know that old saying, you know, practice um, makes perfect, but practice also, it changes our mindset, it changes our reality, and it um, brings in new energies with the practice. It's like, you know, if somebody um, is, you know, being an artist, being a healer, being um, an apprentice, we don't always, um, we're not always able to do it straight away. It doesn't happen immediately not always it can do sometimes um, if you're fully in alignment with that um, with that gift 
but it with practice it becomes more familiar it becomes easier it becomes more gentle and more harmonious okay so everybody i would like you if you are ready take a deep deep breath in and exhale i'd like you to close your eyes and imagine yourself floating into your heart going deep 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 into your heart chakra imagine a beautiful pool of golden light like you to dive into that pool of golden light, feeling yourself floating in, feeling safe, feeling comfortable, feeling loved, feeling supported, feeling energized, feeling aware, feeling conscious. Take another deep breath in and exhale. And now we're going to ask that beautiful golden light to embody every single cell, every molecule of your being, moving in through all elements and all aspects of you moving through all your chakras and embodying you in a beautiful ball of golden light in this ball of golden light you're going to find yourself floating down from your heart through all your chakras right through to the tips of your toes moving down through all the layers of the earth connecting in with the heart chakra of mother earth and I'm being guided to begin to run the core energy of forgiveness and harmony in this space. And any energies that are no longer of um, discernment, that are no longer of um, use to your divine energy, to your divine expansion, and that expansion that leads into you aligning with your divine soul purpose, allow those energies to align with that magnet, to be transmuted and transformed into seeds of love, seeds of divine life, to grow in a new form and a new divine energy, to enhance our earth and also to enhance you. Now, as those energies are running, feel yourself in that ball of golden light, moving up through all the layers of the earth, coming up through the tips of your toes, moving up through all your chakras, coming up above your crown chakra, moving up through and past planet earth, high above planet earth, moving through all the galaxies, through all the universes, all the multiverses, and connecting in with the beautiful, heart of the universe and moving through you will see a beautiful golden light a crystalline light emanating and this is the core of creation and find yourself moving into the core of creation and this is a space where only energies of 100 percent pure light come in to regenerate to recreate to create to transmute and to transform, to support, to love, to forgive, to harmonize with divine discernment. We're gonna command again in this beautiful space at the core energies of forgiveness, the core energy of harmony begins to run and healing any um, fragmentations in your physical, your emotional, your etheric, your spiritual space and your um, mental space, allowing the energy of any fragmentation or any ripped or torn aspects of you to be filled with the energy of love and light, aligning you with the joy and the knowledge and the knowing and the wisdom of your sacred boundaries and gifting you all the experiences um, excuse me, gifting you with the knowledge and the truth and the divinity of your experiences. I'm marking all those experiences and lessons and gifts and teachings and learnings as complete in this lifetime, in all lifetimes from the point of creation to infinity and beyond. And the core energy of forgiveness is moving through all timelines, past, present and future, moving through your soul, moving through your DNA, moving through your ancestral lines and moving through the collective consciousness 
moving through the universal collective consciousness, moving through your cellular memory, going back to the point of creation to be transmuted and transformed. And all the pain and all the shock and all the trauma, all the misgivings, all the judgments, the self-judgments, any fear about the expectation of you allowing you to be free of those expectations that you have built and structured for yourself that are no longer in alignment with you to transmute and to transform giving you the truth that it is safe and it is possible for you to detach from the expectation of you aligning you with the wonderful energy of aligning with your intentions as opposed to your expectations aligning with your goals that embody your intentions and each are celebrated in the most divine and sacred of ways and take a deep deep breath in and exhale and allowing any residual energy to transmute and to transform that feels so much better and now in that ball of golden light from the beautiful core of creation find yourself moving through all the universes all the galaxies coming up above planet earth coming back into your physical body moving through your crown right down to through to the tips of your toes and moving back into the heart chakra of mother earth and sitting in there for a moment filling the resolution feeling the forgiveness feeling the love feeling the light feeling the energy moving through every cell and every molecule of your being restoring the harmony of you restoring and connecting you with all elements and all aspects of you bringing you back into your wholeness and we are commanding that this beautiful energies are integrated with ease with love with laughter with light with fun, with awareness, with forgiveness, with wild compassion, with discernment. We're going to um, ask that these energies ground you and know you have the discernment of when and how to anchor in this energy and ground into Mother Earth, replenishing your body with the fluids necessary for you to thrive and transform magnificently, joyfully, easily. in the beautiful energy of harmony. This energy is running through every single element of your being, through your conscious, your subconscious mind, your higher self, your inner child and your inner adolescent, your heart, your soul, and every system and every organ and all the spaces in between. Take another deep breath in and exhale. And when you're ready in that ball of golden light, feel yourself floating up through all the layers of the earth, connecting in with the tips of your toes, moving up through your toes, connecting in with your root chakra, your sacral chakra, your solar plexus, your heart, your soul, your throat chakra, the chakras in your ears, your third eye, your crown, Take another deep breath in and exhale. And when you're ready, connecting in with your awareness, feeling invigorated and energized, wriggle your fingers and your toes. And when you're ready, open your eyes. Hey, how is everyone doing? I feel you all glowing magnificently. So does anyone have any questions for me? I'll give you a moment to come back into this lovely physical space, feeling all renewed and aligned with new frequencies and energies. Oh, wonderful. You're so welcome. Beautiful. So my really special announcement, and I'm sure many of you know, I am going to be teaching the second ever core expansion practitioner training um, on the 3rd and the 4th of February. And then we're going to be moving the class. We're going to take two weeks break and you're 
you're going to be joining the class again on the 24th and the 25th of February. Um, the class is going to be held online, so you can join us from anywhere in the world. And um, I taught the first class in October, and it was such an amazing and a beautiful experience. And the practitioners who joined the first class will be joining us again. And what's beautiful about the class is, for now, I'm um, everyone who takes a class and becomes a practitioner can rejoin the class um, again and again because each time we rise up another level and lots of new information comes in for me and also for you each um, during um, during the time that we are integrating between classes. So I am, hey Nani, oh thank you Bagusha. And Bagusha is um, an amazing core expansion practitioner. She was one of the first um, core expansion practitioners to um, to share this wonderful gift with the world and it is truly life transforming. So this is um, really amazing as we are in this year of immense transformation. It's a wonderful, um, it's, you know, be you a spiritual entrepreneur, be you a healer or non-healer, be you a creative, you know, a writer, a musician. Um, you are a creator of, of life, of harmony and peace and you bring in beautiful energies. So the core expansion training is all about bringing all these wonderful gifts of light and creation together and, and celebrating and, and um, supporting people to really uh, um, step up and show up. And in the class, we're going to be doing such phenomenal deep healing, but at a really gentle pace for you. Um, you are going to um, experience, um, you're going to be taken into the galactic records and this will be the first time that I will be taking everyone um, as a class into their own galactic records to unarchive your gifts and your treasures and you can uh, then you will have that tool and be able to do this with your with your clients, with your friends, with your families. Um, you will um, be able to run these energies on individuals. You'll learn how to work with um, your beautiful pets, with animals, work with spaces. Um, lots of people, for example, Bogusha um, runs and infuses the energies in her artwork. Um, yes, galactic records are really amazing. Um, I went on a sacred sound journey in, in the full moon in December. And um, I had the most amazing experience. Um, oh, thank you, Vagusha, that's so kind. Um, and when I was in um, the Sacred Sound Journey, I got taken into the Galactic Records, and I'm like, oh, wow, this is really cool, because I went up into the core of creation, and you will learn how to connect with the core of creation. And in the core of creation, I kept hearing, come on. And I'm like, and I went in, and I... Um, was guided to unarchive by this wonderful Lemurian goddess, unarchive all my gifts and treasure. And she said, this is really important for you to share with your next class because people are really going to expand exponentially because it's time for all our gifts to awaken and to come out of all these places where we have put them away and kept them away um, uh, safely. Um, oh, wonderful, yes. Yes, absolutely. Um, yes, you can infuse these energies into objects. I um, run this energy on my my everything, my house, my home, um, my plants, love core energies, my car. Um, I run the core energies on everything and I run it um, as, as the energies as I walk. And what I have learned is that as you move, you are carrying the energies when you are embodied and when you're aligned with the core energies, you will receive the sacred light codes um, to run the core energies. And when you are aligned with that beautiful energy and you have those beautiful sacred energies, um, you can, um, um, you know, you can run this energy on everything. And yes, Bogusha, she runs these beautiful energies um, in her beautiful um, mandalas. And yes, food and drink. Um, I run the energies on my water um, when I'm drinking tea, whatever. It, 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 there are no limits to core expansion, which is what I love about it. And also you'll be able to, you'll learn how to work in groups so you can run workshops and it is an immense, opportunity and I am offering all of you for 48 hours only um, a very special um, price if you sign up within the next 
48 hours until Saturday the 20th of January. Um, this whole package for £699. You will also receive a one-to-one -one, um, Cora ex Expansion Life Transformational session with me and you can take this at the end of the class or after the class at a time that um, is, suits you. I would recommend you um, take the opportunity for a one-to-one -one session with me after the class um, because we will be doing lots and lots of healing during the class and um, you know um, just you will know when is the right time for you. I will also be offering everyone who signs up for this wonderful package um, uh, four um, of the you will receive four of the master classes and the master classes are step up and show up daring rebirth because we are all going through this uh, phase of um, daring rebirth you'll also receive the wonderful um, your how to manifest unleash your manifesting power and also um, you will there is one more excuse me my brain is um, full of uh, <laughs> full of wonder today but there are four amazing packages and these master classes are really really powerful and each master class is there between 11 and um, 16 um, core energies and they are really powerful um, really magnificent and really beautiful and if you are feeling um, that you would like to speak to me and get to know a little bit more about um, core expansion and and how it all works feel free to um, um, send me a message either by email my email is finn at finngoddard.com or you can message me on Facebook on Facebook I don't always see the messages because I get so many messages on Facebook but um, do feel free to connect in with me and I'm happy to arrange um, uh, a discovery with you call with you to um, discuss the class and also um, if and that's for people who the the 699 pounds is a pay in full it's not um, related to a payment plan package however if you um, are interested in attending the class and would like um, uh, a payment plan please let me know and I have some really wonderful um, options available for people who may not be in a position right now to um, pay for the full price so do let me know oh I love that oh fantastic yes um, the love core energy is really really powerful and um, the it makes such a huge difference um, to how the energies oh thank you if you weren't already a practitioner, you'd definitely sign up. Oh, thank you, Bagusha. Oh, it's so awesome to hear. I do you excuse me, do you have any questions? Um, I'm happy to answer those now. Oh no, ex oh right, okay. You don't have to be a healer to run um to experience this class. You don't need to know anything about um belief work or downloading or identifying or pulling. Absolutely not. In the class, I will teach you how to um, run the energies to transform and to, for example, we'll be working on energies on transforming um, lower vibrational energies and also negative patterns and limitations. And the more you are transformed yourself, the easier it is for you to um, transform those energies. So, you know, I started out, um, when I was younger as a, as a healer and I took a long, long break before doing it. And then I joined um, another healing modality and I was like, oh my God, I don't know any of this. And within the first day, it felt really, really familiar. And there are four days packed full of wonderful and amazing information and lots of supporting guidance. And also at the end of the, um, you know, during the class, when you sign up for the class, you'll automatically be, um, you will automatically join a wonderful supportive um, Facebook group called the Core Expansion Live Tribe. And in there you can ask questions and it's a group there to support um, each other. And I pop in from time to time to do um, lives and I will always um, get back to you and answer your questions. So know that the class is um, very supportive and um, there is you know, there is no question that cannot be answered. I may not have the answer right away, but the answers um, will um, will always, you know, will always be there. Um, thank you very much for asking that. 
you practice grounding but told being that you need to ground but maybe doing it from your mind rather than a physical experience yes oh grounding that's a great question martha you can ground physically and you can ground energetically i ground um energetically um it doesn't um it, it to be honest it doesn't matter it's the same um i think there is a school of thought that feels and believes that grounding physically is more important than um, grounding energetically, but they are both the same. Um, and in terms of grounding, eating um, soul food, eating, um, you know, food that's like I, for grounding, I eat a lot of um, fruit, um, fruit and uh, root vegetables and earthy, earthy, real earthy food. And I find that really helps me to ground. Um, chocolate, um, high um, cocoa percentage chocolate, like 80, 70% up chocolate is really excellent for grounding as well. There is something in chocolate that supports you to ground and drinking lots of water. Um, Epsom salts are a wonderful way of grounding too. Um, and during the class, I will be teaching you how to ground um, more effectively. And you will also find your own way. Um, everyone has a way that of grounding that works better for them um, and you will um, connect in and um, align with that lovely um, you will align with that way that works best for you if that makes sense excuse me okay does anyone have any more questions okay thank you so much for joining me these last four days it's been such a an honor i've really really enjoyed um running the energies with you all and you've been an amazing audience and thank you for for being here and um, i'm excited to work with you and i can't wait to teach you all so if you feel guided to this class it is definitely for you and i look forward to seeing you very soon okay lots of love speak to you soon bye